Hi, this is Candia with Candia Hainsworth Designs, and thank you so much for joining in today on Starting Your Own Brand, Get Labels for Your Business Tutorial. This is more or less like a demonstration on how to place an order for these tags and labels, and today I'm going to show you how to build your labels from start to finish. So after you've watched Start Your Own Brand, Get Labels for Your Business, you want to go into the description box and locate the link that I've provided for you. It is for iconprint.com's website. Once you click the link, you'll be transferred over to their website and presented with a special offer just for my viewers. It is buy one, get one free. So click the link and I'll meet you there. When you are transferred to iconprint.com, you'll be presented with a special offer just for my viewers. It is the buy one, get one free offer. Well, when you purchase a set of 100 labels, you'll get another set of 100 labels free of charge. First, you want to start with reading the details of this offer. And it is the buy one, get one free, but it is for the one and a quarter inch white satin labels. Scroll down just past the add to cart because we'll come back to that later and locate the label size chart. You'll see that these tags come in a variety of sizes. However, this offer is for the one and a quarter inch size. Select that and then confirm that you have the right size above simply by scrolling up. Once you have confirmed that, you can move on. And now you will see that you are presented with the options of adding images, adding text, and choosing from designs. First, you want to start with preview when you're labeled and just paying attention to where your front is, your back is, your folded line, and your seam lines, okay? Because remember, this is a folded label and it's going to be inserted into the garment and this is the line or this is the area where you will stitch it into place. Before you build your label, you have to clean it up. To do that, you have to remove all of this text here, otherwise it will be printed on your tag. So click on it and you will see that this little box appears and this gray box appears as well. You want to locate the trash can, click on the trash can and it will disappear. To build your label, you want to choose from the design first and select one of their icons. This is for someone who does not have a logo in place, but you just want something a little bit more professional or with the icon. So if I wanted to choose the button, for example, I would click on it once and then close out of it and it's going to appear below and then I would click on it again, reposition it if I wanted to enlarge it. I could just stretch it to the size that I want. And if I also wanted to add text, I can click up add the text and if I wanted to add just candy is sewing that's easy click on add text and close out of it keep in mind you're clicking once because when you continue to click you will have to delete it several times so first I'm going to reposition this because as you see it is going past my seam line and we don't want that okay and now I'm going to locate the font so the font is down here on that folded line. And once you locate the font, this box is going to appear, this gray box that is. And then you can just click on the arrow and you will be presented with loads of fonts that you can choose from. So if I wanted to change, let's say, the font to a regular different font and then I wanted to increase the size, I have that option. And if I wanted to make this a, like, let's say a bold font, I can do that too. All right, and so now I'm going to move on to the back of this tag where I want to add, let's say my telephone number. Simply just click into the box and then either delete it or begin entering your information. And the best part about this is, is that you really can add a lot of information here. You can add your website, your address, your Instagram page, Facebook page, so much information because you are able to add more than one line. Then you're going to preview your label. And if you like it, you move forward with adding it to the cart and purchasing it. However, let's say we wanted to add a monogram. I would simply click on on this to clean it up again make sure that it's nice and clean and then I will go to text 
and then I would just add two or three letters or whatever your monogram is, add a text again, and then, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't close out of it, close out of it. Okay, and then I would locate the, uh, the lettering, increase it, or I could change it if I wanted to change it, but if I didn't want to change it and I wanted to use that lettering, I just have to make sure that it's not beyond the lines. And then I would be ready. That's how my label will look. Now, if I wanted to add my own image, this is easy as well. I would just simply click on Add Image. Then I would click on Add Image again. It's going to open up files in your computer. You will locate the image that you would like to. It's going to appear here, but you're not going to click on it because it's going to automatically be uploaded, but you're going to click out of it. And then locate the image, reposition it. If you have to enlarge it or even decrease it, you can do that. Just make sure that you are within the lines here because you don't want your image cut off. And then if you like the way that look, you are ready to move on. So then you want to scroll up and add to the cart. You're going to see the page refresh itself and a one is going to appear in the shopping cart. And then you can click on the shopping cart. If you want to view your cart, if you've ordered other items, you can do that at this time, or you can click checkout. And checkout is very standard, like uh, you know any other website where you are asked to enter your billing and your shipping information. And then you want to confirm your order, and you want to pay close attention to your shipping, okay? And well, one of the things I want to tell you is on this website, this little box constantly appears. You want to just minimize that um, and just keep on going with your order. And then you want to pay attention to your shipping, okay? So they offer standard and they offer express. I've never ordered their express shipping because I always try to uh, make sure I don't pay express fees or never make sure, I always make sure that I don't run out. But standard shipping, I usually get my orders between 10 and 14 business days. So uh, if you don't want to run out, make sure you order ample quantity. Otherwise, you will literally be almost paying for the, uh, the, the labels twice if you ordered the express option. They also have a payment method where they offer uh, credit card options or PayPal options. You know you would just simply enter your information and continue with the order or select PayPal. When you do that, you're going to be prompted to proceed to PayPal. And then you're going to be transferred to their site where you can submit payment for your order. Okay. And pretty much that's it. That's how you place an order at icaprint.com for these uh, custom labels. And I hope you consider doing so because it does make your work look very professional. And if you have purchased these labels already, especially if you are an Embroidery Boss member, please send me a picture. I would love to see it. And if you are an Embroidery Business Owner, consider joining us on Facebook in the group Embroidery Boss. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and post a comment below. Once again, that's it and I'll see you.